Hey guys, before we start this video, I just want to let you know that I'm doing yet another giveaway, and this is of Shogun 2 Total War by Sega of America. It is a $50 value. All you gotta do is subscribe, like, favorite, and comment that you want the video game. Alright, please enjoy the rest of this video. Bye. Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you how you can make CD covers in Roxio Creator 2011. So what you need to do is, well basically right now I'm showing you the homepage for Roxio Creator 2011. And what you need to do is you now need to uh, press music and audio. So when you press that, you'll be uh, headed to this page where you can do different features like import, edit and transfer, create and burn, and just listen and delete music. So just click these two options. One is create labels, which is allows you just to do with step-by-step -step guidance, but that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to advance. And that is basically you just do everything by yourself. You have no help unless you want it. Um, okay. So just basically the, the basics are importing the title of the album you want, the artist, the, no, the track list, and the image you want, and CD, audio, DVD, whatever it is. It can be a DVD, it can be a CD, it can be any sort of disc. It can be a video game disc. So, and also just a symbol right here. Okay, so the first thing is title. I'm going to title this... I'm going to be putting this on my YouTube channel, so Unbox Technology. Alright, now the artist. I'll just make it YouTube. I don't know. I'll just make it YouTube. I'm just showing you. Um, track list. You can just make that any uh, make that any songs you want. Uh, CD. You can make, you have all these options of different uh, images. So a lot of images. Let's just do, let's do DVD data. It doesn't really matter in this case because I'm just showing you. But And then here's just an image, so I'm just going to browse. And here's the logos for my channel. I'll just use that. All right. And obviously, I don't have any track list, so I can just get rid of that by just delete. So now I basically have the CD cover, um, but it's boring. I want to change it up. Here's a symbol right here. You can you have um, you have a few options, and you can just choose between an eyeball or a dot, dark dot or something. A book with earphones, a save file folder, a game controller, two hands, and a camera. I'll just pick a camera. Why not? All right. Now, say you want the the back uh, the, the the CD cover to be black, and you want the text to be white. Well, you just find an open area somewhere on this uh, CD, and just double click it, like I did. Double click. And background color, you have all these colors. You can even do more colors. And if that's not even enough, you can go to create col create colors right here, where you can blend colors and do different shades. So I want a black shade. I want that sort of color. See, that's the color I'll be doing. I want that color. Add to my colors. Okay. I want that color. And there it is. Okay. So now let's say I want this. Uh, the camera I chose to be right here. Well, you just drag and drop. All right. Now, say you want it bigger. Just op just open it up like that. All right. Say you want your image to be here and this to be there. Well, same as before. Just drag it and drop. And say you want it bigger. Just just stretch it out. Um, say you want this bigger. You can just stretch that. Or you can make it smaller. And you can also even change the color of the text. Right here. You can highlight. Go to right here. So you want it yellow. And there it's yellow. But that's not really a nice color. Let's say I want it red. Alright. That's nice. And say I want it red too. Just click it again. Alright. So now that you have that. Uh, you can add other things too, like you can add an image, like you can add a second one if you wanted. Okay, let's say I wanted another logo of mine to be on it. I could put it right here under it or something. It's really up to you. There's a lot of different options. Um, say you want to add picture index. That's like uh, you can add rows and spacings. Say you want to add a rectangle. I don't know, just a random rectangle to add something. You can do that. You can make it smaller. You can make it bigger. If you want to add a circle, you can also do that. I don't want that, so it's just it's easy to get rid. Of. Just press e easy to get rid of it. So just press delete, delete. 
you can add a line, you can add text to it. So say I wanted to say uh, album one, album one right here, okay? Add text right here. Just drag it. Album one. Let's go album number one. Press enter. All right, now that's pretty small. Let's say I want to make it um, 14 and I want to make it black. It already is. Let's say I want to make it yellow. All right. Um, so that's basically it. Um, let's see. Other options are select style. Let's see. All right. So if you want like a preset looking background, if you don't want like an actual color like this, say you don't want green, say you want an actual preset, you can just choose it. Um, there you go. Now the op now what I did was gone is gone, but that's basically just what I'm showing you. And uh auto fill from disk, you can basically just um make it small enough or big enough to fit the disk. Um and let's see. That's just loading. Label creator cannot find audio C D to read, obviously. But so basically you insert your disk and it can then fit the disk to your liking like without even you have to change the size of it so if you just put in a regular CD it'll it'll match that if you put one of those smaller discs that you get from like small music stores or <laughs> if you get like a just a small disc from something just put it in there and it'll it'll uh, auto fill it it'll just auto match it to the size and edit background you can just you can use that you can't you if you don't want to so that's just back to normal and yeah, so yeah, that's that's it, guys. Uh, that's how you can create CD covers on Roxio Creator 2011. If you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you already have, and please like, favorite, and comment. Thanks, guys, for watching.